back today with another video on the ST. Um, probably a bit of a repeat because we have done this before, but um, it's just starting to look a bit tatty again now on the interior side of it. So today we are going to be redoing these door cards because as you can see, it, they've gone a bit flappy because before we took the actual like foam bit that was on it before off when you're not actually meant to. So I'm going to be ripping this back off. And I've got some replacement door cards that we'll be putting these covers onto, hopefully. I've got some spare handles that we'll be painting again. Um, I'm not really going to show too much on it because uh, the last time I painted them, I like sanded them all the way back to bare plastic. So it will just be a quick sort of um, scotch this time just to flatten out any marks off. And hopefully we'll get a bit of a better finish because they lasted about five minutes, especially the passenger one. Looks absolutely terrible. And this centre console um, isn't the greatest either. As you can see, it's all flappy. It's letting in dirt and crap. So we'll pull this armrest off. We'll replace the centre console. I've just got a plastic one. That's all I'm going to go back to. Uh, fit all that. We'll get the door cards off. I'm not going to show you how to do them. We're just going to time lapse for it because I showed you them in the speakers video. And hopefully we'll get into trimming. And also this cover doesn't sit right anyway. As you can see, it doesn't sit properly. So I've got a new one of those to be replacing. It's just sort of replacing the crap that has gone a bit bad. So once we've got these door cards off and stuff like that i'll show you obviously um just getting these center bits out and then obviously we'll discard them and start on with the new ones but all i'm going to do is i'm just going to get this center console bit done first because that's probably going to be the most annoying bit if i'm honest and I'll just quickly just time lapse through getting all the other bits off. I'm sorry about all of it back here, it's bloody atrocious. Um, but for those of you who didn't see the install, it's just four Phillips screws, two this side and two on the other side. Okay. In. Let's get the handbrake up. Okay, as you can see, it just looks a bit saggy and worn and just crap. So I can go out there. And then we'll come in from this side and we'll fit this one on. I'm going to be giving the car a clean at some point anyway, so don't worry if it all looks dirty and crap. Okay, so that's on now. So I'm just going to um, fit these screws off camera for the actual uh, armrest because I can't be bothered really doing it now. Because I've got drawers and stuff like that. And then I'll just show you when it's all back together. Okay, so the armrest is in. Much more sturdier than before. Because it started becoming quite loose. But that's really nice now. So I'm happy with that. And... Doesn't look too sad with a standard plastic setup. Yeah, it needs a bit of a clean. But that can't be... That can't not be sorted. So... <clears throat> now that's all done. I'm just going to move these seats back. So get on my nerves on there all the way forward. Um, don't worry about the shambles of a car, don't worry, it'll get emptied out. It's been really busy. Uh, we're going to pull these door cards off quickly on time lapse, both sides. And then um, start stripping these bad boys down.
Okay, so I've just stripped the door cards back. Um, these were quite easy to get off because I had them off previously. Um, these are even easier to get off like the leather covers. So I'm going to get the new ones in. And they're basically like ultrasonic welded on uh, to here. So I'm just going to go over it on the time lapse and just grind the edges off of my Dremel just so we can glue these back on a bit better because last time it was an absolute pain getting them back on. So hopefully we'll show you with the new door cards in a million pieces. Okay, so back together. Not the greatest, I must admit. Like down here's a bit crap still, but it's the fabric that's underneath it, unfortunately. So I can't really do much about it. This one again, not too great. Just needs a clean. This one was an absolute nightmare, I must admit. Like even there, it's not great. Um, yeah. Whoever whoever made them covers is a. There is no way of putting it. There is no need to build them the way that they built them. Why don't they just do it so it covered the whole thing rather than covering a section and being cheap fucks? Like, seriously. So, I'm just going to run this as it is for now. And I think when the time comes, uh, I'll either get another set of door cards and do them myself with proper light leather so I can wrap the whole thing or I might even just send them away and get them done by someone um but i wouldn't mind having another go but just with my like just plain leather no stitching down the middle and just um wrapping it myself should be a lot easier than because you don't have to worry about getting it in the correct position because it's fucking stupid it really is it just winds me up this this one went on a lot better because it's cut a lot nicer it gives you a lot more room to play with but that one's literally cut on the limit it's actually ridiculous it's so so ridiculous like you can see at the top where it's like cut longer than here um so yeah i think i'm just gonna have to live with it. okay so we're not gonna be doing these because both of them literally fell out i mean this one there you go uh as I was putting them on and lost my temper a bit and that happened a few holes happened that happened so went out this morning got another set just standard ones and that's what I'll be going with for now uh, off of Mr Paul Bygrave for all you Fiesta boys who know he is absolute diamond sold to me pretty cheap so I just need a clean but yeah, lesson learned and learned from my mistakes. Don't let your anger get the better of you. Sorry I wasted you guys' time on this video a bit. Um, but if I'm honest with you, uh, let's get the one that isn't broken. You can see that it won't gonna last very long because it's already started lifting. Um, so, and not only that as well, like the center console's gone and stuff like that now, so it's probably just better if I put the stock ones back in. Um, these were never really going to work too well and they were always going to look a bit tatty so that's not the point um, the only thing I'm going to be doing I'm, I'm just going to spray the uh, grab handles and I'll just show you the finished result of that because I don't want to waste too much more of your time but yeah I'll hopefully show you it with all the grab handles fitted and um, put back together okay so a good few days later um, finally got the handles sprayed 
probably thinking like I said they were going to be white in the previous clip that is correct but I sprayed them white they ended up coming out really crap I ran out of white and also remembered that they didn't even last 24 hours last time because obviously normally the jobs that I do and what my friends do we've all got dirty hands so it's um sort of pissing in the wind to put it lightly so I thought I'd just do a gloss black not bad at all for a rattle can job it's a bit flat here unfortunately but might even try and get some polish on it but they're designed to be used um but other than that I think they come out really wicked for a rattle can job and the driver's side is even better so I think we did all right and it just sort of ties in nicely to the door anyway just sort of saves a bit hidden now sort of like the ZTEC S's I think they have black ones um but yeah that's all for today's video i'm sorry it was a bit of a weird one um a bit of a waste of time in some respects because obviously we were trimming door cars that we didn't end up trimming um but just for record there's the console with the armrest nice and secure and that's the console rocking by the way not the actual armrest it's all rocking and it was one piece but that is really nice now um so yeah on the overhaul on the overall perspective of things I'm quite happy just need to give the car an absolute clean because these cards are grim and that is just aids anyways guys enough rambling hope you guys enjoyed today's video please be sure to like and comment for more content and be sure to subscribe and remember i have put a poll out for the merch store because i want to get that up and running a bit better so please be sure to vote on a poll anyways that's enough for today and i'll catch you in the next one